Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Welcome back. I hope you had a nice lunch. Hope you enjoyed your day. I, I certainly enjoyed the veggie option. It was very, very nice. Um, so now we're going to go into the afternoon session, which is very, very, ex very, very exciting. And I'm very honored to, for the first speaker, she's actually a close friend of ours as well. Her name's um, 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 Alice Tornello, and she's the R&D man, 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 uh, uh, manager there. And she's going to tell you her, her family story and her, her, her own story as well. But yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and thank you very much for the opportunity to share today uh, my story and the story of Tonello. Um, for those who don't know about Tonello, for 40 years we, are, we have been producing garment finishing technology, completely made in Italy, today as yesterday. And uh, we cover the entire range of uh, garment finishing, so from laser to washing machine to dye machines all the technology to treat garment. But uh, later we will speak about uh, more in details about uh, what we are making and um, to, let's say, to create uh, this uh, uh, magical um, process and uh, in an ethical way. Today, I'm happy to share with you a small part of my personal story and how it all uh, began for me. Um, I will be talking about love, people, and courage. Um, these are the three important words highlighted and continues to highlight my story. The first word is love. I still remember um, the powerful of iron when I passed through the assembling department. The pizza we, um, that we ate between the washing machine on Sunday uh, at noon. And the face of our worker, the same face that I still see today after 25, 30 years. This is a love story. And uh, this job found me. I was lucky to immediately feel the emotion that has bound me to work in a family business. Um, while I was still in the school, I remember spending my summer scrapping jeans and learning how to use the first laser. Everything was uh, taking shape piece by piece. Yes, because in order to create the perfect technology, we need to understand the, pro the process perfectly. Then I remember after the university, I told to my father, OK, I'm ready. I want to work. And he told me, there is an amazing job as a receptionist. So as you can imagine, it was not so easy in the beginning. But it's where I discovered my second word, people. Everyone, um, every pe person in the company, um, fortunately, taught me something. And they continue to do. Um, a company is made up of a people who can make the difference. An important moment for me, it was when I started to work in the R&D department, when I started to take care of this part of the company. And from here, I would like to, to let's say, explain a little bit about uh, the, the story, the story of the technology of garment finishing. So, as you can see, there is a, um, a huge revolution, the evolution of uh, machines, starting from the first one in the 1975, the first garment dye machines, and arriving today uh, to the sustainable technology um, that we will see more in details later. So to better understand the present, let's see about uh, a little bit about the past, the evolution, the technology. So an example is uh, in the 70s, the boom of stone wash. So the, fr the first front loading machines for stone wash. After that, uh, an escalation of innovation from the first eco spray robot, for example, so robot to spray chemicals in the 1980s, and after that, uh, the brush robot uh, um, to uh, replace uh, in automatic way the manual brush. 
revolutionary, perhaps too revolutionary for that time, it was the first laser machines. In the beginning, it was a great success, but after that, the brands, especially the Italian one, were not ready to accept an effect that was not really natural. Um, today, the technology are quite different, and we will see. Uh, when it comes to dyeing, on the other hand, there is a jet system and batik. Jet system is a technology to reduce liquoration. But what is liquoration? Uh, by definition, is the volume of water expressive in liter necessary to treat each kilogram of garment. And with the jet system, we can re reduce up to 50% the quantity of water. In 2004, we launched Batik, the first uh, nebulization system to create an uneven colored fashion effect on garment. After that, uh, we won the ITMA Sustainable Awards with the No Stone, a special abrasive drum to replace the stone wash, um, the stone wash effect uh, with this new technology. Um, then, and a very important uh, breakthrough innovation in res responsible, oh, sorry, um, responsible technology is the only-in-one system. What is only one system? It's a washing machine able to treat with all the sustainable technology. So, eco-free two, ozone in water and in air, no stone to replace the stone wash effect, up to reduce the liquoration, the quantity of water, an example is during the rinses, and core, the new nebulization system. Today also we add to our range Wake. Wake is a special kit to dine with the organic raw material. It's a great story and our customers love it and as you can imagine, I love it too. So the, the third word in my, in my story is courage. Courage because uh, it's an approach uh, that we cannot forget uh, when we are working on innovation, especially if uh, the innovation are quite uh, revolutionary, and especially when the time are not uh, quite uh, ripe. Uh, if you remember uh, with the first laser, for example. Courage because sometimes transparency has less impact than a pretty but not completely true marketing story. Don't lack the courage to fully uh, understand how things are and don't lack the desire to explore the unexplored. So let's now uh, switch to something more uh, educational. So I would like to share with you today some, um, some data. Uh, as you can see, the lifetime of a pair of jeans and you saw this morning because uh, um, our friend uh, Miguel showed the same, uh, quite similar slide. The, there are many steps during the lifetime of a pair of jeans. So from cotton cultivation arriving to the final consumer and finishing are just one step of this long process. Um, it's calculated that uh, the water consumption during the lifetime of a pair of jeans uh, ranges from 3,000 to 9,000 liters of water, which is, equivalent, uh, which is equivalent of 4 to 12 years of drinkable water for a person. Um, even if we only consider the lower number, we have to think about it. Um, but uh, let's see more in details uh, the water consumption divided by phase. So 68% is, is used for fabric production, including cotton cultivation. 23 is consumer, consumer care, so for domestic use. And 9% is about finishing. 
Today, we will see this part, the 9%. Even if the finishing is only representing a small part, we are committed to decrease it. So traditionally, um, the, the way to wash a pair of jeans, uh, we use between 80 to 150 liters of water. If we consider, for example, the first step, manual scrapping, after that we have permanganate spray with the neutralization, stone wash, bleaching, rinsing, and softener. So from 80 to 150 liters of water. It depends, of course, um, on which technology we are using, for example, belly machine, horizontal machine, or front loading machine, or the quality of fabric, of course, or the quality of laundry. But uh, how can we, we can be more uh, responsible and decrease uh, the quantity of water and hazardous chemical? Let's see. So we can replace uh, the first step uh, with the laser. The first step, it was manual, uh, manual brushing. Uh, today, laser technology is able to create extremely natural looks and mark 360 degrees. So it's improving also reproducibility, productivity and creativity. Um, we believe also that uh, this machine is going to improve the worker condition because if you think about uh, a worker that is going to brush uh, for more than 10 hours per day, for example. So uh, the second step, second step, if you remember the traditional way there was uh, permanganate spray, stone wash, bleaching, many different steps. We can replace all the wet process with only one system. I told you before, it's a washing machine with all the latest technology inside. And it's a, exactly the combination that um, um, give us the opportunity to create a great garment in a sustainable way. So uh, there was a stone washer. We can replace stone washer using no stone. No stone, in fact, is an abrasive drum that uh, thanks uh, to also the use of enzyme create an, an authentic effect on stone wash without uh, the disadvantages of stone wash because, yes, stone wash has many disadvantages. An example is that needs to be mining. So many islands have disappeared for this reason. Second, um, we have a high water consumption because we need to remove from the garment all the sand during and after the process. Um, has a lot of uh, manual work because I think about uh, putting inside the pumice stone in the machine, remove, uh, remove also the pumice stone from the pocket. And uh, another big problem is uh, create a sludge disposal. Um, the second step, so we can continue our process uh, injecting ozone in water, is the second picture. Um, the second picture is, show, is showing the um, buff example during the ozone treatment. So the first one is the indigo blending from the garment. The second is the reaction, the yellow one, is the reaction of ozone. And the third sample is the water that uh, we can drain. So is one buff. It's easy to understand that in this way, we can reduce the water consumption, we can create a better garment with a nice look, and um, of course, uh, uh, without back staining. And we are going also to discharge less water and uh, with a better quality. Uh, third step, for example, the rinses. In the traditional way, we can do by up up with a very low liquid ratio, so the quantity of water per kilos. And in the end, we can close the process all in the same machines by applying, for example, softener by nebulization. 
So I don't know if you remember the um, quantity of water needed in the traditional way to treat a pair of jeans. It was between 80 to 150 liters. Today, with the latest sustainable technology, as you can see, we can really reduce the water consumption and we can treat a nice garment with a great look with just 6.75 liters. And what about the data? So how we calculate? So we create today, and I'm really happy to share with you, a special software, uh, the name is Metro, where um, the software that is able to pull out from the machines the data. So it's going to read the reality, the real water, energy, steam, consumption of every single pair of jeans without human manipulation. I would like to to show you now a video to uh, summarize a little bit the uh, sustainable process and how we can make it. I think it's here, yes. So we believe that measuring uh, reality in, uh, the, in a transparent way is the first step to improving ourselves. It's what we are doing in our R&D department in Creative Area um, that is now available to our customer, to our brand, to designer. And uh, thanks also to high level uh, collaboration um, that are supporting us in this, uh, this journey. So two years ago, uh, when I was invited to another Transformers conference, Women in the Indigo Universe, I chose the title Positive Contamination. But uh, on that time, as a good Italian, I didn't know that contamination was an uncountable word. So um, today, uh, this is my message and uh, maybe without uh, S, that I would like to share with you. Love for our work, people that want to improve the present uh, while shaping the future with the courage and without forgetting what uh, we have been done until now. And um, so this is my wish, positive contamination. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, uh, uh, Alice, for giving us your 
time and coming all, all the way here, especially like most of these guys that are talking at, at this event are so busy because it's actually a really important show in just a few days' time in Amsterdam. So the fact yeah. that they've given up their time to come here and speak to us is, is really nice. Anyway, Maybe. let's open up some questions. Obviously, we've got a wash specialist here, someone, someone who, who a family has completely changed the actual industry. Has anyone got any questions for, for Alice? Please, please, please. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Good. You're, you're Thank free. You. Thank you so, Thank so you. much. Okay. Good stuff. Right. 